In this nano review video, we're going to talk about the first quadrant of the unit circle. All right, so knowing values of the unit circle is really important for kind of your understanding of trig farther on. All right, you need to have these values memorized so when you do more complex things, they kind of just um, appear. Um, but because of this, we want to make sure we have the unit circle fully memorized. But the only thing you need to like fully memorize completely is just quadrant one of the unit circle. If you get the first quadrant, it's a lot of like copying, pasting to get the rest of it. All right, so this is quadrant one. We have zero, 30, 45, 60, 90. Those are our special angles. Uh, you probably remember those from special right triangles you did in geometry. All right, it's a unit circle, which means the, the length is one. So if I go one to the right, my x value is one. One up, my y value is one. And then these angles we found using special right triangles, but you just kind of have to have them memorized. The square root of three over two is bigger. All right, so that's the big x value and the small y value. 45 degrees, they're the same. And 60, they switch from 30. Right, we have the smaller x value and the bigger y value, right? Because I'm going higher than the farther right. All right, so these orange you just kind of have to memorize. All right, there's some logic to it. All right, the biggest x, next biggest x, middle x, smaller x, smallest x, and it's the reverse for y value. So you just kind of remember the order for x and y. They're flipped. All, right, all these different relationships, but you have to have this kind of picture memorized in your head so you can do all the unit circle stuff. All right, so now you kind of have a basic idea of what quadrant one should look like. All right, that's just something you have to make sure that you have memorized.